This video is about the four hearing aid types. The best type of hearing aid for you would be decided by A, your hearing loss or severity of, B, your preference of type, would that be in the ear or behind the ear, C, your lifestyle, are you still very active or a homebody? Now there's four hearing aid types and the first type, the open fits are a new type of behind the ear hearing aid. It's also kind of mini behind the ear. It fits behind the ear, it's smaller, very thin, almost invisible tube used to connect to the ear canal. There are some open fit hearing aid pros. A, it's great for high frequency hearing loss due to the open fit ability. They don't plug you up. B, it's more reliable in the, than an in the ear hearing aid because of the circuitry it's on the outside. It's discreet. It's not easily visible, especially from the front or the side. They're more comfortable and barely visible and lightweight. There's no ear mold, less plugged up feeling. It's an open fit. Now there are some cons to these open fit hearing aids. It's not suitable for moderate to severe low frequency loss. These are the men's deep voices. Some models do not have a manual volume control. Sometimes sweat from the outside ear may cause malfunction. You could get wax build up in the tube and have to clean it frequently. Now let's go to in the ear hearing aids. In the ear hearing aids sit inside the ear canal. They're discreet, they're small, and they're pe for people with mild to moderate hearing loss. Now, the in-the-ear hearing aid pros are small and discreet for cosmetic purposes. They're very efficient in the delivery of low and high frequency gain. You can use the telephone or headsets normally. In-the-ear cons. They are not appropriate for severe to profound hearing loss. They're not appropriate for high frequency hearing loss because they take over 100% of your hearing. And they're not suggested for children. Let's talk about the traditional behind the ear hearing aids. Behind the ear hearing aids are much larger in shape. They sit behind or atop the outer ear and have a thicker tube that routes sound down into the ear via an ear tip or ear mold. Behind the ear hearing aids are designed for people with very severe or profound hearing loss. Now the pros are, they can be used for severe to profound hearing loss. This is for somebody with a great deal of hearing loss. Sometimes they're less expensive than other behind the ears. You could put more memory options or features such as the telecoil in the hearing aids. There's a wider selection of case colors because it's much larger space or real estate. The behind the ears have much larger controls. This is for people with dexterity issues. And it's a longer battery life. Usually they use the 13 with 200 hours or 675 with at least 300 hours. Behind the ear hearing aid cons. They're more visible for those without much hair. People are definitely going to see these. They're very inconvenient for physically active people because they're just much larger. They could be susceptible to moisture and perspiration damage because they're sitting outside the ear. Behind the ear hearing aids require an ear mold and an ear mold plugs up 100% of your ear canal. The last type is a receiver in the ear hearing aid. These look very similar to the behind the ear hearing aids with one unique difference. The speaker and or the microphone of the hearing aid is placed inside the ear canal and a thin electrical wires replace the acoustic tube of the open fit hearing aid. These hearing aids have a, offer a huge cosmetic and listening advantages and are typically and the most popular type style used today. So the receiver in the ear pros. They are smaller, usually smaller, since the speaker or, or microphone is moved from behind the ear into the ear. 
there's less occlusion or plugged up feeling. They are very comfortable due to the lightweight design and the advanced circuitry inside and the size. There is no tubing to collect moisture and the tubing does not have to be replaced. One of the big advantages of a receiver in the ear is its ability to change to a stronger power receiver. In many cases, if your hearing loss progresses in its severity, the cost is significantly less to replace the receiver than purchasing a brand new hearing aid. Receiver in the ear cons. The cost of repair. First, the receiver in the canal hearing aid is composed of two parts. Behind the ear that houses the computer and microphone, and B, the receiver unit which is the wire going from behind the ear into the ear canal. Either one of these could go out. These are new technology and replacing the receiver could be from $150 to $500 and, and or replacing behind the ear unit could replace the entire hearing aid. Wax buildup. A receiver in the hearing aid, these now have the same issues that an in the ear hearing aids do. The receiver is in the ear canal. Wax could get built up in the wax guard and clog it up. Feedback management. When you put a receiver in the ear, you just increase the chance for feedback. That means more squealing. That means when sound leaving the receiver finds its way back into the microphone. And you may have to go back for a couple tunings to get this correct. There's one more issue with the receiver in the canals. Because they are so small and lightweight, it can take some time for the user to realize that the hearing aid is missing. Make sure you have loss and damage protection on your hearing aid. These are the four types of hearing aid. But remember, the best type of hearing aid for you and your hearing loss is decided by your hearing loss or severity of, your preference of style, is that an in the ear or behind the ear? And your lifestyle, are you still very active playing tennis or are you homebody watching TV? If you have any questions about this video, please contact us at centuryhearingaids.com or 888-295-2944. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to our channel.